With thousands of stocks, ETFs, indexes, and assets to invest in, how do you figure out which will be the next market winner? There is no better tool than relative strength to narrow your focus down to the stocks with the greatest probability for significant advances. Positive relative strength has preceded virtually every significant life-changing stock advance. Therefore, a simple and effective relative strength tool becomes invaluable to an investor looking for the next Apple, Tesla, or Amazon. Many investment tools can be complex, difficult to understand, and challenging to implement. Legendary investor Charlie Munger said, we have a passion for keeping things simple. I agree, and my belief is that investing should be simple, yet effective. After 10 years of effort, I developed what I call Caruso Adaptive Relative Strength, or CARS. To see how simple and effective CARS can be, let's begin by looking at one of the best stocks of all time, Apple. Although Apple had many uptrends over the years, let's look at Apple soon after the invention of the iPhone. In early 2009, as the world was reeling from the financial crisis, Apple stopped going down as the S&P 500 and NASDAQ fell to new bear market lows. This was due to institutions scooping up stock at what turned out to be bargain prices. Their immense buying power resulted in positive relative strength, and the Caruso Adaptive Relative Strength displayed that by simply coloring the background of the chart blue. In a simple and effective way, the blue background highlighted Apple as a potential leader in the next bull market. As you can see, this occurred prior to Apple's 670% advance in only three years. No tool is perfect and you can see on the chart there are places where the background moves from blue to white along the way. I designed it this way so that it will be able to both identify the possibility of significant uptrends, yet be adaptable enough to identify periods of swift selling. The saying in the market is that stocks take the stairs up and the elevator down, and from experience, I know that to be true. As you can see in this Apple example, almost half of that monstrous 670% gain was wiped out in only a few months. For situations such as these, I wanted cars to be adaptable enough to react to such swift sell-offs. Often in the market, being right but late results in you being wrong. It is also important to use relative strength as it is meant to be applied. Relative strength is not a timing or risk management tool. It is designed to identify when institutions are accumulating or distributing a stock leaving investors with a short list of potential stock market winners. It then becomes your task to find an optimal time to buy or sell. As you can see with the upside potential in stocks like Apple, even a portion of a 670% advance can produce life-changing returns in your portfolio. A more recent example is Fastly during the 2020 bull market. It is one of my biggest winners of the year and contributed greatly to my success in the Real Money US Investing Championship. Cars was one of my secret weapons that allowed me to quickly determine which stocks were likely to advance the most if a bull market were to develop. As you can see almost immediately off the stock market bottom, Cars identified Fastly as being accumulated by institutions. Fastly is a technology company that makes surfing the internet faster and more reliable and was well positioned to profit from the increased internet usage as a result of people around the world being forced to stay home and work online. Institutions began buying the stock aggressively and after a good earnings report, the stock gap higher, advancing several hundred percent in only a few months. Thanks to Caruso Adaptive Relative Strength, Fastly was one of my prime candidates and I purchased the stock as it gapped higher on earnings. And just as importantly, as Fastly failed to maintain its leadership, Cars highlighted the end of relative strength and guided me to move on to better opportunities. The relationship is not anything new or something related to technology companies. Amgen is a biotech stock that made historic advances in the 1990s. One of its many uptrends can be seen in this chart. It embarked on a 1,000% advance that lasted just a little over two years. Although it eventually went higher, you can see that lack of proper tools would have resulted in investors giving back the majority of these gains in only a few short months. Cars effectively indicated at the start of the move that Amgen was under accumulation and successfully showed that institutions shifted from buyers to sellers near the very beginning of the swift sell-off. One aspect that is unique to CARS is that it is as equally as effective on low volatility stocks and alternate asset classes as it is on market leaders. Not all investors are seeking maximum price gains and not all investors are focused on stocks. Traditional relative strength tools are ineffective in those situations. For example, many investors own high yielding dividend stocks that move much slower than market superstars like Apple or Fastly. Traditional relative strength tools don't adjust for volatility and will never locate opportunities in these slower moving stocks. Cars does not have this drawback. Looking here now at Altagas, a Canadian utility company that pays a strong dividend. The same market dynamics are at play with this stock as Apple. And there were times to own Alla and collect dividends, and there were times to step aside and take your profits. Cars successfully identified when institutions were net buyers 
or net sellers driving trends in both directions. Just as easy as you can apply cars to growth stocks and utility stocks, you can also apply it to non-stocks such as ETFs. If you take a look at ARK's Innovation ETF, which is one of the top performing actively managed ETFs of 2020, as with individual stocks, CARS was just as effective in determining when ARK Innovation ETF was experiencing massive inflows and when it was time to move on to another ETF with a different focus. Let's take a quick look at how this can be used as part of an effective investing approach. Our first example is Farfetch, an online luxury clothing company. As the 2020 bull market kept going, FTCH was in a perfect position to be a market winner. They had booming sales and most of their competitors, malls and stores were shut due to the pandemic. As the general market corrected in September and October, FTCH was demonstrating positive relative strength and CARS was effective in identifying it. A classic cup with handle chart pattern formed and there were multiple technical entry points that could have been used to enter Farfetch before it advanced 150% in only four months. Big funds could soon see that the future was not as bright as it had first seemed and their selling resulted in ending the car's positive signal prior to Farfetch falling over 60%, giving back all of the profits and more. A 2021 market winner was Devon Energy. Similar to Farfetch, as the market corrected in September of 2021, Devon began outperforming and cars highlighted the relative strength on the chart with the blue background. It too formed a classic cup with handle and blasted almost 70% higher in only a few months. Successful investing requires focusing your buying power on stocks that aren't just hype, but have real potential to rise. Market opportunities are endless, but it requires the application of the right tools with a solid strategy to make and keep life-changing profits. There's never been a better time to invest in the market. You can easily get real-time news, quotes, and trade from anywhere. Get the proper education to become an effective investor and learn from a professional with a proven track record. Simplify your process and make it more effective today by using the Caruso Adaptive Relative Strength Method.